In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on the BitMart futures exchange trading platform. If you want to create an account on BitMart, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $3,000 of bonuses that you can easily pick up by following all of these different tasks. You will always get, if you're using the link from the description, the best bonus possible. To create an account, you simply have to enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. The first thing I want to show you is how you can verify your account. You don't necessarily have to do that but if you do it you can use all of the features on the platform to do it you go up here and then go to verification there you can see you have these two different levels level one you can basically do all of these things that you can see right here you have some withdrawal limits and some leverage trading uh, limits that you cannot use and here you only have to upload um, a document um, your id or your driving license and then you can use the platform with all of its features all right, next I wanna show you how you can deposit easily crypto. You do can do that by simply going up here to your assets and then clicking on spot. And then you simply click here on deposit. Then you can choose the cryptocurrency that you wanna deposit right here. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollar Tether, for example. Then you can choose a network. For example, I like to use the TRC20 network on US dollar Tether. And then you get your deposit address right here. You can copy that to your clipboard and send money here from your wallet or another exchange. It only takes a few minutes and it's without any fees, so very convenient. The other method, of course, is you can deposit with fiat money. You can do that by simply going up here to buy and sell. Then you have to choose your fiat currency, for example, US dollar, euro, whichever one you want. Then you can type in the amount, for example, 500 euro in this case. You can choose what currency you want to receive because you cannot have euro or US dollar or any other fiat currency on the platform. You have to choose a cryptocurrency that you want to receive. For example, Bitcoin, you can see these different payment providers right here listed, which um, payment method they offer and how much Bitcoin you would receive. Then you just have to set the check mark right here and click on buy. And then you get to this page right here. You can choose which payment method you want to use, what fees they have, can confirm. And then once you have done that, it will take a few minutes. You can see right here, uh, maybe up to one or two hours, and then you will have the money right here on your account. You can always, of course, check if the money that you have deposited is already there by just going up to your assets, click on overview, and then you can see if the money has been credited to your account. It always should arrive on your spot account right here. Once the money has arrived right here, the first thing we have to do is transfer it from our spot account to our futures account. We can do that by going up here to futures, then right here, click on transfer, choose from your spot account to your futures account, choose the coin you want, in this case, US dollar tether, type in the amount, and then you can transfer it here to your futures account. You have two different futures account. There's one USDM futures account and CoinM futures account. USD means you deposit US dollar tether as your collateral, as your own capital, and you can trade any cryptocurrency you want with it. Or you could use CoinM futures. You could deposit in here Ethereum or Bitcoin and then trade either one of these different trading pairs. So this is another option. I personally prefer always USD because very convenient, you have a stable basis, and then you can trade any cryptocurrency you want with it. All right, next up, let's join the futures platform. You can do that by going up here to futures and then click on USDM futures, and you will get to this page right here. Let's go through all the details that you can see right here. Up here, you can choose your trading pair, so you can see everything that you want. Just choose one and then you can trade it. You can see down here the chart, it's just a cutout from TradingView, as you can see. So you can just look around the chart, choose different time frames, and so on. Right here, you have the order book, all the selling orders and all the buying orders, and down here, the recently trades that have happened. Down here, you can also see your opened positions. We will look into that just in a bit, and also your opened orders and so on. Here on the right side, you can see all of your capital that you have. If you don't see it here yet, you can also use the transfer functionality as here, as I've shown you. And up here, you can open um, your positions, choose the leverage and so on. And this is actually what we'll get into right now. So let's actually open a position. First of all, we have to choose the leverage up here. So if you click on here, you can first of all choose a margin mode. I would recommend you just use isolated. And then down here, you can choose the leverage. You can use an up to 100x leverage. In this case, let's just go for 5x, click on confirm, and then you have it set. Next up, you can choose between a limit or a market order. Limit order would mean you could set a certain price at which you want the order to be executed. 
Or what I would recommend you is just use a market order, then you will enter the market immediately at the current market price. Then you can choose the amount, so the order position size. Uh, you can either use the slide controller and you can see if you push it to 100%. That means all of your margin is all of your own capital right here. And because you're using a 5x leverage, five times that equals a $620 position size in total. And um, you could also type in the amount right here manually. For example, if I type in $500, that would mean our $100 of our own capital times five means $500 in total position size. You could also set a take profit and stop loss in here. Type in, for example, $30,000, so $32,000, and you would see your profit for your long position. And you could do the same for a stop loss, but I will show you that in just a bit um, because you can also do that later on. Um, let's click on open long then. And as you can see, immediately the position opens. You can also see it here in green in the chart. And down here, you can see all the important information, which we go over right now. So you can see it's a Bitcoin trade. It's an isolated long. It's a 5x leverage. This is the position size, $500. You entered the position at this price. This is the price right now. This is our liquidation price. So if we would not have a stop loss set, which is right now the case, but we are going to set one in just a bit. And the price would fall this much to $24,000. It would close the entire position and we would lose all of our own capital in this trade, which is this $95 times 5, of course, equals again, because of 5x leverage, the entire position size. This is how the numbers here work. And here you can see your PL. So this is your profit and loss. Currently, the price, as you can see, has risen a little bit since we entered the position. So we are 17 cents in profit. Here, as I've shown you, you could either set it in here once you open a position or you can do it afterwards right here. So if you click on here, you can set a take profit and stop loss. Um, you can type in here, for example, $32,000. And you will see this would mean a $34 profit, 36%. And you could set a stop loss, let's say, at $29,400. This would mean a $6 loss, 7%. You can just click on confirm and then you already have it set. We can see our stop loss right here in the chart as well. And if you zoom out a little bit, you can also see up here is our take profit. You can also see it here and in your open orders. So this is how you can always check your take profit and stop loss. You can cancel them by just clicking here on the X, for example, and then you can get rid of them. Or of course you could edit them, add again a take profit, another take profit at this price. You can always check what numbers you have in here, confirm. And this is how you can control your take profit and stop loss very, very easily. All right, that's pretty much all there is to say. Lastly, I also want to show you how you can, at, of course, at any point also close your position. You can simply do that by just going here on the right to close market price, choose how much percent of the position you want to close, how much profit you want to take. In this case, you could also, of course, take half. I want to take the entire 63 cents profit so far. So far. Click on confirm and you've closed the position again. Don't forget to create an account on BitMart by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign-up bonus possible. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.